Hello what's up guys this is Umar Farooq I come up with a new video which is about how to update new version on app store this is my app store account and on the left side you can see version or platform click plus button select is type the version number you want to update for new app updated version will be written here in my case it is 1.2.2 select create now app store will process and create the new version now the updated page will be created on apple account with updated information Please subscribe my channel so that it gives me motivation to keep uploading videos on latest and most asked questions. And now here is the general tab of Xcode. My app name is display, name is uh, news and uh, my version is 1.2.2 and make this version similar to the app store that you created uh, so that it will not confuse you later. automatically managing signing option I generally use this option because it will save my time uh, you can also create manually provisioning profiles and signing certificates this option automatically create the profiles and certificates a deployment target a deployment target is refers to the oldest version of your iOS that is capable of running your project while there is another base SDK option refers to the newest version of your iOS that is capable of running so, so uh, deployment target is the minimum version you want to target your app will run Now below is the option devices, I will select universal because my app is capable of running on both iPhone and iPad devices. So that is why I selected universal. If your app is iPhone only then you will select iPhone, if your app is iPad only then you will select iPad. device orientation option portrait landscape and landscape left right now I select build ios devices and create an archive Now the window is open. Now select the distribute app option. Now here you can see the options. Uh, iOS App Store I will select. Ad hoc option uh, is will also create an archive, but it will run on designated devices only. Enterprise is for enterprise account option. If you have your organization account, development is also if you want to test your app option within your team if you want to test your app work now I'll select iOS app store now export will communicate with the app store I'll uncheck this option because will take too much time if you have this option. Automatically managing signing. Click next. Now 
here you can see the upload option click upload if your app is not that much long that it will not take too much time if your archive is 100 to 150 MB then it will take too much time okay Now after uploading you can see that this message will be displayed Successful, successfully upload click done now back to the developer profile now uh, if you upload it successfully then it will take uh, about around 10 to 15 minutes to come the archive here so you don't need to worry, click plus. Now you can see the build is here. Select done. Here is a couple of options manually release this version or automatically release this version. Uh, if my app is successfully uh, tested by Apple developers then it will automatically release to users I can select manually also if I want to release on the particular date so I will select manual option so here you can see that the what, what will be new this version I will turn minor bug fixes click save See the submit for review option is open. Here are some screenshots of my app. You can upload on iPhone 6.5 display, iPhone 5.5 display, and iPad and iPad sizes. Okay, submit for review. Click continue. option advertising identified uh, I don't make any encryption changes in my binary so I will select no now advertising identifier my app serve aired so that is why I selected yes and click below options limited tracking settings I will select also check click submit now your app is successfully submitted to the app store leave me a comment about what will I will cover in the next videos so if you st if you stuck in something you want to ask me please let me know in comment section below thank you guys